We are just 22 days away from Hoop Fest, the largest three on three basketball tournament in the entire world. Organizers got the ball rolling on some of the preparations today. Volunteers started packing those player bags this morning. Now, the process for 28,000 bags takes three days. There will be tens of thousands of people in our city over that weekend. But Hoop Fest won't be the only major event taking place. KXY4's Ian Cole joins us now from Riverfront Park to explain. Ian, what else is going on? Yeah, well, Nadine, you know, if you've ever been to Hoop Fest, you can see how crazy it gets downtown and around the park. Uh, now, imagine adding Spokane's second largest convention ever into the mix. All those people flooding the streets as well. Well, that's going to be a reality at the end of June as the National Square Dancing Convention dances into town. Big steps and stutter steps are expected in Spokane at the end of June, but two steps and these steps are not. Now the two groups are watching their steps, trying not to step on each other's feet. It's going to be a very packed Spokane. A lot of folks will use this as their annual vacation. Salute your partner. Welcome the National Square Dancing Convention. 5,500 dancers, callers, and cloggers will mingle with ballers. It's the first time the National Convention will be in Washington since 1981, but why have it the same weekend as Spokane's largest event? In their bylaws, it is the last a full week in June of every given year. But it's Hoop Fest tradition as well. The thought of tall, scary basketball players hasn't scared off many dancers. The Visitors Bureau made sure of it. They sent out this flyer to dance halls throughout Washington to convince them that Spokane will have a family-friendly weekend. Uh, we were able to demonstrate how two large events can actually simultaneously go off in the community. The flyer also busts myths about how there won't be any hotel rooms and how restaurants will be packed. There are 7,000 hotel rooms available in Spokane County on any given night of the week. And between Hoofest usually takes up around 2,200 of those rooms and uh, Square Dance will take up another 1,200. Both sides say there's plenty of room and food for everyone. Both agree it will be an interesting weekend. They're looking forward to our event. We're looking forward to seeing what their event's all about. Unlikely partners or unlikely teammates, however you want to look at it. One half of the park, we've got Hoop Fest. The other half, we'll have Square Dance. Now, the convention is expected to bring $14 million to the city of Spokane. Uh, people are coming from all over the world for this. And we've even been told that some of the overseas travelers are chartering flights just to get here. Reporting live in Riverfront Park, Ian Cole, KXOI4 HG News.